So we were on to types of suicide and I discussed in the last lecture that there are four types of suicide depending upon the two key concepts that is social integration and social regulation. If the integration is too high, it, it, it is altruistic. And if, it, if the integration is too low, it is egoistic suicide. Now moving further to a nomic and fatalistic suicide. So egoistic suicide kya hai? Jab integration, social integration bohut kam hota hai, weak hota hai. To egoistic suicide hota hai. Jab social integration bohut strong hota hai, to us type ko bolte hai altruistic suicide. The third type is anomic suicide. This is related to social regulation. That is the control of the society upon the individual. Now, if the social regulation is too weak, bahut weak hai, to us ko bolte hai, the third type of suicide, that is anomic suicide. It results from individual not being sufficiently regulated by the society. It is concerned with social disorganization and imbalance. Jab society jo hai, wo disorganized hai, society mein imbalance hai, equilibrium maintained nahi ho raha hai, society mein koi regulatory control nahi hai society ka. Jab society mein traditional norms or values hai, wo disrupt ho jate hai, social changes ki wajah se. Or ek uncertainty hai in the minds of individual, that type of situation results into a type of suicide which is known as anomic suicide. It is because of normlessness in the society. Anomic ka matlab hota hai normlessness. When the norms, they are not uh, proper. They are not the norms which used to regulate the society wo applicable nahi hai kyunki society jo hai wo change ho rahi hai. Or nay norms established nahi hue hai. The society may confusion hai, disorganization hai, imbalance hai. So, a chaotic situation may agar koi suicide hota hai. That is the example of anomic suicide. And the last one is the fatalistic suicide, the fourth one. It is when the social regulations is too strong. Jab social regulations bohut strong hai. Common among the slaves and now rare in the industrial society mein is type ke example aapko kam milenge. Or ye fatalistic examples jo the, they were there during the slave society. Jab ki bohut regulation, strict regulation or rules hote the, itna zyada control tha that the person used to feel suffocated. Wo saans nahi le sakta. Itni zyada controls hai uske upar. That type of situation results into a suicide which is known as fatalistic suicide. The suicide of a person with future pitilessly blocked and passions violently choked by oppressive discipline. So, Imail Durkheim said that these were the historic interest. Matlab ki History may is type ke uh, suicide ke examples hume milenge. Present industrial society may as examples nahi hai. Because present society is motivated by individualism. Yeah? So itna control society ka exert nahi hota upon the individual. So these are the four types of suicides that is, egoistic suicide altruistic suicide, anomic suicide, and fatalistic suicide, depending upon the two key concepts, that is social integration and social regulation. So social integration or social regulation ke basis pe, ye char types hai suicide ke, jo ki Imail Durkheim ne apni theory of suicide mein explain kiye hai. I hope the theory is clear to all of you. Thank you so much for listening.